Don't you think there will be less war if Team Plasma takes over the world? Why did you heal me, good sir? All right, because I beat you into submission and forced you to see me as a doctor. So this area is complicated. There's this whole pipe maze that we heard about that contains a power belt, an EV training item. And if I were to step on this, that'll teleport us elsewhere in the maze. And we can fight a trainer too while we're at it. I will use Team Plasma Science to bring out my Pokemon's greatest power. You sure sound like someone I know. McFly is yet to have a battle where it couldn't do something. It's making an excellent lead with just so much type coverage. It wasn't able to one-shot a Scrafty back there in that lengthy trainer battle. So that's been about the only limitation that it's had. Something that always kind of stood out to me is how it has that electrical outlet looking pattern on the back. And I've always just sort of imagined that because it has that on its back and Elekit's head looks like an electrical plug, that that's how they mate. I'm terrible, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know Elekid is a baby Pokemon and thus can't make eggs. But still, it's just what I thought of the first time I saw that, okay? Why are you so strong? You're just a normal person, not even that. You're just a kid. It's fun seeing them freak out so much. Uh, we can't let McFly have all the fun. So I'm gonna swap out to McFly, no. I'm gonna swap out to Lasagna. I have a few items in mind for lasagna that we might be using at a later time. Um, one of which is the leftovers. I was also thinking maybe citrus berry could be a nice one. Nice way to use that. Um, we won't tolerate people who have different ideas. We shell smash lowering our defense and us likely taking a hit before we use it. Health recovery items could be nice. Based on my experience, I like leftovers on Crustle better than I like the shell bell. Scolipede! Now there's a good Pokemon. And I ain't just saying that because I got a favorable type matchup against you. That's happening a lot lately for how often I was saying it wouldn't be happening. Go on over there, Mr. Lasagna Crab. Using agility. Yeah, you don't exactly benefit from it here. I liked using Crustle a lot in the early days of Pokemon Unite. I don't know if it's still good. I hear Pokemon Unite's excellent nowadays and the game balance has just been super good over time when there's lots of playable characters and they're always adding stuff to it. I don't really know because I only played for the first season, but I knew a lot of people that were really into it and some people told me that a year after the fact they thought the game was better than it had ever been, which I think is a pretty high praise. Item ball number one is a Max Revive. Everybody just giving them out like candy these days. Sooner or later I'll be able to buy them in regular Pokemarts and a Max Elixir. That too. I'm sure someday that'll happen. That's cool looking, just how industrial this place looks in the foreground. Uh, I can't walk around this. Uh, that's just a pathway back up to where we started. I'm just trying to find buttons I can stomp on and see if that opens the way. <laughs> the Plasma Frigate's layout is different across both versions. Kind of. The location of this pipe maze room and the location of the passcode room are flipped between the two, so it's not super different, just a little change. You know, I've given this a lot of thought, and the problem with this place is I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to do. The guy was saying that I could use the pipes, though, but he just kind of said pipes so many times that I think it kind of went in one ear out the other, and I don't really know what it is I'm supposed to be doing right now. So I'm just fighting all the trainers, pressing all the buttons, and hoping it gets me somewhere. Coughing! We got two Pokemon to deal with, so this seems like a primo opportunity to do a Shell Smash sweep. What I'm calling it, and I'm gonna stick with that. A sludge bomb, that's fine. Cinchy. It's like all of you are carrying normal and poison type so I can use a crustal well. <laughs> and we'll go for a rock slide, as inaccurate as it is in a single battle. Aw, coughing, just doing that dopey smile when it gets hit on the head with a rock, like a cartoon character. Your last Pokemon is Among Us. I had some of you calling me out on a certain thing that I did with Among Us, and... If I was really doing that, and you know, who can say? Oh, no! No! I refuse. I don't use items enough in regular trainer battles, usually opting to just let them faint my Pokemon. But I refuse. Is it in there? Wait, do I not own a full? I don't own a full restore. I don't own a full restore! What am I doing? Uh, 
I don't... I don't know what to say. That's... That's kind of depressing. Oh, no, not clear smog. Stat changes were removed. Excellent, excellent. Love you, too. Please don't smooch me. I see you trying right now. Oh, uh, one more. At the very least, you can't do much to me. Nope. This is just not my day. The day that you need to save the world, having that not be your day is a pretty bad thing indeed. Go and cut that thing apart into bite-sized pieces that I would cook. Fine, okay, you've poisoned me. Are you proud of yourself? Your effect spore went off twice. What? You can actually draw out the power of your Pokemon. Oh! The teleporters take you to buttons that deactivate the barrier! That's what it is! I was gonna go back and talk to the guy and figure it out from that, but, uh... It's not needed. Bottom right corner? No. Bottom right corner slightly inward? No. Already did that one, so I know where that leads. So all four of those have been checked and nothing. This one? No. This one? Yes. En route, I got into a battle. Lasagna got to level 49. That's some chunky ass lasagna. If the room ever becomes unwinnable, like it may or may not have for my thinking, just go in the room, just leave the room and come back in. It'll be fine. Nothing there. Okay, just making sure that really was not a spot that I could go up in. There's the next one. Oh, hi. Yep, it's the other innie. All the doors are open, we're good. Lasagna grew to level 50 and tried to learn flail. Getting caught up, getting caught up. I hate you. <laughs> Sorry, man, I just wanted to have a fun nickname on my last Pokemon. As much as I unlearned that, that could be a good neutral move. Flail can get really high up in power if you're at one HP and was sturdy and me doing Shell Smash. Yeah, I might want to use that at a later time, at least consider it. Lasagna's taking the leftovers from Aiden, Pignati's getting the expert belt, and then Aiden is putting on the Rocky helmet. A lot of refrigerator shuffling going on here to get all of this to work with the items that I wanted. Oh, getting the door open wasn't the challenge for me. The challenge was getting out of this godforsaken place. I can't get these pipes to align in the way I want and get out. That doesn't go there. That'll make this go vertically, but then when I step here, it goes horizontal, and then I can't step on it again. So then I step on this, maybe, and then uh, I guess that does that, and I don't really have a choice but to move that way. There we go! It took me an embarrassingly long time to get out of here, and I spared you me bumping into, like, every trainer along the way. Let's do this! The device is indestructible. You will never be able to release Kiram. You don't have the sense to know when to quit, it seems. It's an act of mercy on my part to bring this to an end now. Bro, I just fought you 20 minutes ago. How much stronger could you really be? Apparently that much stronger because you still lead with Cryogonal, level 49. Ice type, levitate for its ability with the moves Reflect, Confuse Ray, Ice Beam, and Slash. You got nothing. You have not gotten stronger. You suck. I'm sorry, but it's true. Is that a haiku? You're doing Confuse Ray because you have nothing better to use on me. I ain't confused, so I'm doing Shell Smash. We're above that, we don't get confused here. I got all my bad luck out of me yesterday. I beat the Pokemon TCG for Game Boy. Awesome game, by the way. And man, I failed the coin flip to wake up nine times in a row. Oh. Uh, oh! 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 Yes! Well, that was lucky. Uh, okay, yeah, it can stand up to hits 
All right. Yeah, even if it does hit itself in confusion, even if it does get hit with its defense down, it can still take hits decently well because its stats are just high enough. Oh God, that hits for so much. I think I need to do it this turn. Otherwise, it's just not gonna happen. Lasagna, go yeah! Good, good. I know enough about Kragel to know that its defenses really aren't that spectacular. Or physical defense is not. Special is definitely spectacular. Kragel's fast, got high special attack. Weavile! This is the only difference in his team. Weavile is level 51 now. <laughs> and it's got Night Slash Slash Ice Shard and Metal Claw. I'm gonna do a Gambit. See if I outspeed you at plus two. You have Ice Shard though. No. I would have hit. I would have hit. That wounds me. I, I wanted to see if I could pull it off and luck was not on my side. So let's see here. I got Pignati and you got the expert belt. Not that I'm worried about Weavile being able to stand up to, well, anything. We'll be able to knock it over just fine. I had no idea that Weavile was supposed to be cat-like until I saw it in, um, in Pokken. When I saw its animation where it was licking its claws and stuff like that, I couldn't believe that it was cat-like this whole time and I just never noticed. Cryogonal, level 49, ice type levitate for its ability, and this is the light screen one. That's good because I got the move that breaks light screens. Not that I was gonna hit you with a special move anyway. <laughs> yes, Insulin, I think you're the one who doesn't know where to quit because you gained one level and thought that would change the result. And also, you don't have your second hand with you like you usually fight with. It is the same for anyone. As long as you are dreaming, the dream will never reveal itself to you. Beaten again? No matter, Team Plasma will get the last laugh. Keep telling yourself that. Can't do anything about this. <laughs> if you intend to continue, step on the other warp panel. Keep in mind you're going to get beaten up if you do. It's black and white, I like that. We've arrived in the captain's room. Welcome. I was asked by an acquaintance to help with his research. What I desire is to bring out the entirety of Pokemon potential. If I can accomplish that, I don't care what it takes. If it means this strength must be brought out by the interactions between Pokemon and trainers, then so be it. If it means you have to use a merciless approach like Team Plasma's and force out all of the Pokemon's power, then so be it. And yes, if the entire world is destroyed as a result, then so be it. That aside, the reason I have been traveling all over Unova and battling many Pokemon trainers is because I was testing the viability of this approach to bringing out the full strength of Pokemon. In that respect, you've done an amazing job. Well now, tell me if you have the answer I desire or not. If you're ready, come at me! To no one's surprise, I kept forgetting that he wasn't a plasma baddie a bunch during my first playthrough. It looks like you're ready then. Okay, let us begin! acting in this one battle than all I've already done that joke but still it's really sad that it was applicable twice within the same game Magneton is his starting Pokemon level 50 sturdy for its ability holding an Eviolite yeah he fights pretty smart with the moves Volt Switch Flash Cannon Tri Attack and Thunder Wave got a ground type there's nary a thing it can do to you well except that but it's not all that strong whoa 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 uh Damn, you heard me talking crap and you weren't gonna take any of that, okay. Uh, what should I do now? You, we'll go McFly, we'll go McFly. Yeah, you, you resist a steel type, you resist electric type. Sounds good to me. You could paralyze me though, which was the thing that I like better about having Jada's lead. Come on, more, bring out your Pokemon's power. Brick, brick. 
Pokeball Restore. That's fine. We'll just get him into a healing loop. We can get him to waste his healing items on his first Pokemon. Sounds pretty good to me. Whoa, that didn't do all or, or didn't do half. Damage range, please? No. Try attack. That could burn me, that could freeze me, that could paralyze me. I think it's a 10% champ. What? This is going to hell in a handbasket. What the hell's going on here? I'm losing to a Magneton. At least he's out of healing items, but sheesh, I... Try attack again. <laughs> of course you roll for the best one. You couldn't have... It's sad that I would have actually pre preferred burner paralysis. We're using a healing item. Give me that. I've earned this. It's twice now that I've wanted a full restore and I haven't been able to get one. Go ahead and orbit around yourself with your little colored balls. This is turn three. It's got a defrost suit. Yes! Something finally goes my way. Leap up in the air, jump for joy, I feel ya. Magnezone, I was having enough trouble with the baby version. Level 50, electric steel type, sturdy for its ability. Discharge, flash cannon, explosion, and thunder wave. I don't have any doubt that if I knock you down into an inch of your life that... What'd you do that for? What? <laughs> oh, what was I thinking of earlier? Of course he wasn't gonna thunder wave me. He could paralyze me with a tri attack. I guess a wire got crossed or something like that though, but... <laughs> God, I'm not used to having motor drive for my abilities. I didn't even think of it. Cool, all right. I like how that was easier to take out without the Eviolite. That really shows by example how viable that is. Kling Clang, his strongest Pokemon, level 52 steel type. Plus for its ability, you ain't gonna see any use of that. Holding an air balloon, as we saw, we just repopped. With the moves Gear Grind, Thunderbolt, Giga Impact, and Shift Gear. He can raise his speed and attack pretty well. That's one of the better buffing moves out there, and it's a signature move. You outspeed me now, even at plus one. That's pretty unexpected. I thought I was still gonna be fine. Okay. Cling clang, cling clang, cling clang, cling clang, cling clang, cling clang, it's hard to say fast. Pignati, you get out there. He can't move this turn. It's Autonomize that lowers weight, not shift gear, not shift gear. I was wanting to see if Heat Crash would get some kind of bonus effect from him being lighter. No! <laughs> That's bad! Giga Impact again. Oh, you're gonna beat yourself with the Rocky Helmet. You're fine, yeah, we're fine. We're, we can stand up to that, I think, I think, I think. Okay, good, good, good. Wait, I, oh, I don't have the Rocky Helmet anymore. I'm just, I'm getting mixed up so much with my team. Gotta get my stuff together here. I think I know who you're gonna send out next. Behem. Behem is level 50, psychic type, synchronized for its ability with the moves Psychic, Energy Ball, Calm Mind, and Recover. You might call a switch and set up on me, you might but I don't think that you're necessarily going to. Those are Harmony's moves. I'll take eight in this time around. You can probably stand that up to that pretty well. Even with Energy Ball, I'm not super worried about you one-shotting me. I'm just kind of hoping that you'll go for a Psychic. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Good. We'll do Shadow Ball. Behem is slow as molasses. I should be able to attack you no problem at least once. If I get a special drop if I don't KO you, that would be excellent. Yes. Know how to call it Calm Mind. I'm guessing that he didn't think that he could beat me with Energy Ball, which I was pretty sure of myself right there. But that works out fine for me. The fact that I've lowered your special, I'm just gonna do the same amount of damage this turn, take you out with relative ease. Your last Pokemon is kind of underwhelming, TBH. Metang, Steel Psychic type. I'm more psych than I've ever been. I can still go on. Clear body for its ability. Meteor Mash, Zen Headbutt, Rock Slide, Agility. I do praise agility on your Metang, as that is one of the reasons why it's actually a pretty good Pokemon, but I'm not scared of any of your moves, really. We can just surf you twice. I could probably stand up to an attack from you just fine. No second time attack bonus on that rock slide. Zen Headbutt can flinch, though. It's about the thing that I'm most afraid of. Oh, God. I have been having horrendous luck in this. Jeez. 
I like how Matang's body is two Beldum acting as its arms, and then Metagross is four Beldums. Uh, when you see that, it's just such a cool detail. Harmony, you get out there. I think you resist our moves, but I just really want to be safe here. E oh no, I got Heat Wave! What the heck am I saying? Go! Sorry I keep getting mixed up in my own team. I've just changed a lot about it recently between items and moves. Good stuff. That was a little tough, but we got through it. So this is what it means to drop forth the power hidden within Pokemon. You're not even gonna make eye contact with me while we're having this conversation. So rude. So strong. You're a very strong trainer indeed. So let me ask you this. Are you thinking of reaching even higher heights by understanding each other as Pokemon and trainer? I mean, I'm hopeful for the league. I see. To me, that is an ideal answer. To think, that's what you actually believe. You bring out the power of your Pokemon with respect and love. Excuse me for repeating myself, but it will make Pokemon stronger. I don't care what it takes. If interacting with Pokemon can increase their powers only to a certain point, then their full strength must be brought out using a scientific approach. Even one without a conscience. But you have shown me the potential of your approach. To me, whether Team Plasma wins or whether you win will decide how the relationship between people and Pokemon should be. So where will this be settled? Step onto the warp panel in the other side of the room where Kyurem is being held. Good luck in your battle. We're not done yet. Let's heal up. I have to say, I was sure that if Colores wasn't a member of Team Plasma at the beginning of all this, he'd end up joining up with them eventually, but I thought he was going to rise through the ranks and become the boss of the organization. I didn't see it coming that he wasn't going to be our final battle here. But he mentioned that he was hired to carry out this research, and now we gotta fight his boss. What? You beat Colores? Ah, I pretended to be strong, but I don't have any Pokemon! <laughs> this is the personal guard of the boss, everyone. <laughs> Blasted Colrus. The fool is far too committed to pure science. This is how he repays me for making him the boss of Team Plasma! How dare he put his personal intellectual curiosity before our ultimate mission of conquering Unova. How fortunate for you. Few get to be the sole audience member for one of my speeches. Team Plasma will use its knowledge and technology to take Kyurem's true power to its absolute limit and freeze the Unova region. The terrified people in Pokemon will bow at Team Plasma's- No! At my feet! Kyurem is an empty being. The remnants of a certain Pokemon when it's split into Reshiram and Zekrom. My desire is absolute rule of Unova. That's right. Kyurem will be the vessel into which my desires will be poured. Lord Getsus, Kyurem has been transferred. It's finally here! The wonderful era in which I am the absolute ruler of Unova has finally arrived. I'll let you take care of this. Wait, you're one of the Shadow Triad, right? Tell me about the Perline that was stolen in Asperdia. Very well. This might be it. I stole this Pokemon five years ago in Asperdia. So it seems likely that it is the Pokemon you're talking about. But now, it only listens to my commands. Such is the fate of Pokemon that are trapped in Pokeballs. What? Don't mess with me! That's someone else's Pokemon! Ah, I feel sorry for Pokemon. They're ruled by Pokeballs and the whims of their trainers. Lord Getsus spoke of Pokemon Liberation two years ago simply for his own ambitions, but... If his plans had succeeded, many Pokemon would have been saved. This Lipert, well, you knew it as a Purloin. If it had been released, it might have returned to you. Well then. You there. I won't let you interfere with Lord Getsus' plans. Here we go! <laughs> A subtle detail that I appreciate so much about that speech is that 
at one point in black and white, Getsis says, everyone will kneel before me. I mean, Team Plasma. And that's how you see that he's disingenuous. Yet he makes the opposite mistake here saying that, oh, they'll all kneel at Team Plasma's, I mean, my feet. It just shows how he's learned from his past mistakes and how, no, he even admits to himself openly and to other people that yes, he wants to be the one to benefit from all of this. He doesn't care about anything else. Ponyard will take you out. A lot of you were guessing Ponyard was gonna be the last member of our team and I could see why you thought that. It was something that I considered for a little while. I just chose not to go with it. We'll do another brick break right here. Part of the reason why I chose uh, Crustal was not only because I thought it was nice that a team member that I originally discarded that you changed my mind on, but it's really not that impressive as a Dwebble. I think it's far, far better as a Crustal, more interesting and just stronger. Uh, fits in with our team better at that point in the game too. Plus, remember when I said that I always pick up like one or two team members at the Desert Resort and Route 4 and all that? This means technically there were three Pokemon there that I thought were good enough to be on this specific team. That area is awesome. I just gotta really let that sink in for a second like that. Even if I think Dwebble's better later on, I still thought that family was good enough. It doesn't bother us a bit if the stolen Pokemon cry or beg. You're not done yet. I have no problems with you, but this is for Lord Getsis. In we go, Team Plasma Shadow, Ponyard. I guess if your name is Shadow or Grunt, you're just destined for villainy. Got this again, I, <laughs> you know what, I'll say it, I'll say it. I'll say it, we'll try it. Yeah, I don't need super effective moves. <laughs> Sometimes neutral moves can be even better. Heck, you technically get through the fight faster because uh, you don't get the super effective text popping up. You definitely know Giga Drain, and I don't want that. So go with Harmony. Not gonna outspeed an Excelgore, unfortunately. Excelgore is faster than anything. It's nuts. I think it is the fastest Pokemon in this version of the Unova Dex, even with all the additions that have been made. It's got like 140 speed or something ridiculous like that. It'll outspeed anything. Of course, on the flip side, it's made of paper. Me first. Well, good thing I can't be burned. <laughs> that could have been bad. Go in there. There it is. And your last Pokemon is another Ponyard. Nice and easy. I'm willing to bet the third one is leading with a Ponyard and finishing with a Ponyard as well. So we're gonna need to swap around our team a little bit. It doesn't bother us a bit if Pokemon win or lose. It's not very respectful of your boss. All oh, right, you have a different boss. Even if I lose, Lord Getsis simply has to win. Ready for battle. We swore to be loyal to Lord Getsis since he saved us. Listen, I know it's not actually about that and this is all for Getsis' glory. Of course I know that. But I'm just saying, you Team Plasma Flunkies, if you ever needed any proof that Pokemon Liberation was wrong and that Pokemon were meant to be used by humans, then how come Pokemon genetics have evolved to give them the move Retaliate and that does more damage if the last Pokemon in a trainer's party fainted? Ah, checkmate number two. Real facts. <laughs> Bayonet is your middle Pokemon. You're pretty weak. I'm just gonna punch you. Do all that, see if it's enough. Not quite an, Ah, oh, good thing I got Thunderbolts. Could have been a lot worse. Do that. That whole orange look is interesting. It looks kind of like a shiny Electivire. I keep comparing being burned to shininess with that effect. Ponyard. Question is, can I do this with my attack cut in half? Chop. I'll chop you in half to match. Yeah, I can. It didn't matter. Didn't mean a thing. We took it out. Easy fight. Doesn't bother us a bit if we have to use another Pokemon for one is defeated. Well, aren't you a bundle of sunshine? Listen well. The only thing we want is the world Lord gets us desires. No matter. The only thing you can do is watch Lord gets us use Kyurem to freeze Unova solid. That's all. You. I'll return this Pokemon to you. 
Considering what Lord Getsus is about to do, I have no further need of it. Hey. Blaze. If we let Team Plasma do whatever they want, there'll be more sad Pokémon like Purloin and Kurum. 